And Flash, he does, he is hovering that dropship around, so I think he's definitely going to try to do another harassment drop here soon, which is probably not going to be successful because of all of the uh, Dragoons that are hanging around to intercept it. But, uh, yeah, the 10 o'clock base is up and running now for shuttle. <coughs> excuse me, shuttle. But Flash is coming up with uh, vultures right now, actually. If he knows about that 10 o'clock, this is really going to screw Shuttle over. But I don't think he does. He's heading straight for the natural expansion right now with all of his troops. But no, he's diverting back up to the 10 o'clock. I think he's going to head towards the 10 o'clock. I don't think he knows about it quite yet, but I think he is suspicious that another base might be coming up up there. So he's circling around. Oh, a Reaver! Reaver is there to defend. Nicely placed Reaver from Shuttle right there. <laughs> And that reaver is just going to sit there with its fat butt sitting right there on the blue earth and defend that base all by itself against vulture harassment. Yeah, Shuttle is being extra, extra careful here. Not only did he have a reaver up there defending, but he had it blocked off with pylons. So he definitely wants to protect his macro here, get very strong macro builds to fight off the macro Terran and Flash. Flash has very very good macro even though he didn't really show it in the first game I think he definitely showed it in the second game and I think he's starting to show it here in this next game he's putting up another command center he's gonna float that over and get an even larger economy here he has a science vessel out I saw that earlier so he is prepared to uh, <laughs> handle any arbiter tech that I get that <laughs> Sorry, any Arbiter Tech that Shuttle might be going for. If he is going for Arbiter Tech, yes, I think he is going for Arbiter Tech once again. So Shuttle is being a little bit too predictable in these games, I think. Uh, Flash is st I think Flash is starting to catch on that Shuttle is doing the same thing basically in every game. So I think he's going to play it a lot like the last game. And if that happens, he's going to win. But Flash is coming up here with even more vultures. He's, go he's going to try to break through here with vultures. But he's backing off a little bit here. I'm not sure if he was going to try to tackle that Reaver with only vultures. But yeah, that uh, those vultures are being fended off right now by the Dragoon army. One vulture still up there getting the scout on things, I think. So uh, Shuttle is going for another mineral only right here. He's going to try to take the entire western side of this map while he gets a ton of gateways up. Uh, it looks like he's using his macro this time instead of the last game where he was just macroing up and was co completely vulnerable because he didn't have enough troops on the ground. I think he's definitely going to get more troops on the ground in this game. But he's going to be dealing with science vessels and nicely placed tanks and mines for Flash. Flash is going to try to take the entire eastern side of this map. This is going to come down to a pretty big battle in the middle between these guys. Looks like Shuttle's trying to push in and be the aggressor here. He's coming down with a bunch of Dragoons. Taking out a couple of vultures there, but... Oh man, Flash is just so prepared for uh, any kind of air unit right now. Uh, carriers would be completely screwed at this point so I hope that's not what Shuttle's going for uh, but Arbiters will be completely screwed as well if Flash manages to catch him beneath the uh, the uh, Goliaths over here but the Goliaths could take down the Shuttle as well so Flash is completely prepared for any kind of major attack from Shuttle right here, Shuttle coming in with this Shuttle he's going to try to drop some troops on top of those Vultures and come in and just take everything out here he might be a little bit too aggressive here. Flash has a very nice protective defensive grid right now. And I'm not sure if Shuttle will be able to break it. But I think he's going to try. He's inching forward like he wants to attack. He's falling back a little bit here. But I think he is probably going to attack soon. Flash has uh, tanks positioned everywhere. So he's going to try to take another base there and protect it. While he's uh, <laughs> Shuttle is getting his upgrades up and running there. He has two forges spinning. And he already has plus one attack, so he's probably upgrading uh, his armor and his shield at the moment. But a bunch of uh, sh uh, vultures coming in here now to tackle all of the uh, zealots here. But a ton of zealots coming in as well. Storm! That was a crappy storm, though, from Shuttle, I gotta say. I think he caught one vulture in that, and I don't think the vulture even went down. He has the right idea, though. He's coming in with a high Templar and a shuttle, and that will help him break through a tank line very nicely. So if he decides to attack, he's probably going to drop those high Templar right at the front, right after the, the siege tanks have 
begun firing and drop them in. One of the best one of the best examples I can remember of that is the fifth game of the Incorrect OSL Finals when Stork used that to beat Fantasy. He uh, came in with all of his Dragoons at the same time. Fantasy's tanks were clumped up and they sieged at the exact same time. And after they fired, Stork dropped all of his High Templar and stormed everything off the face of the earth. And I think that could work for Shuttle here if he decides to go for it. Shuttle is hanging around the middle of the map. Uh, Flash is just making a stronger and stronger defense as this game goes on. He's getting a ton of tanks and Goliaths out here now. So if he pushes in, I think he probably will be able to take out Shuttle, even though Shuttle, he has a very strong economy going right now, and he has Arbiter Tech out. But I think he's once again committing more to economy than troop count, and I think that's the opposite for Flash here. I think Flash is committed mostly to troops, and Flash is moving out with a gigantic army, so he's going to try to destroy all of the forces. And I think Shuttle might be boxing himself a little bit into a corner here. I think he should run up... Uh, to his bases up there at the 10 o'clock and not try to actually tackle Flash here. Flash has the high ground and he actually EMP'd all the forces there. Oh man, Shuttle, what are you doing? Shuttle's try actually trying to fight up here. This could be suicide, but he's storming everywhere. This is exactly what he needs to do, but I don't know if he has enough storms to break through. He doesn't. Oh, Shuttle falling back for all he's worth. Those high Templar Caused a lot of damage, though, but not enough damage to even make a dent in the army of Flashes here. Flash, I think, is on the rampage now. I think he's finally woken up and turned into the Terminator monster that we all know. Three, four, just spinning. Four shuttles, so he's trying to get maximum upgrades to fight off this attack. But I think Flash, he knows that he caused so much damage there that he can just move in and uh, pretty much go uncontested here at the natural expansion. He's going to move in with the siege tanks and try to blow up the natural nexus. And all of these upgrades that are spinning at the same time, you might be able, to be able to take out all these forges before the upgrades finish. And this is going to be horrible for Shuttle. He's probably going to uh, cancel his upgrades there. And he's trying to go in for a counterattack, but I don't think he has enough troops to do it. Just looking at the mini-map... Uh, his blob of beige units is just not quite up to snuff compared to uh, t Flash's tank count here. Flash is aggressively taking out the natural expansion, floating his command center off. He's not, I don't think Shuttle's even going to be able to take out that command center. All of his Dragoons going down at Flash's main, and Flash is headed for the main of Shuttle's. And he's working up here, and Shuttle is trying to fight out with High Templar. He's going to, I think this is his last effort. I think he's going to have to push in with some uh, storms or something here. And I think that's what he's going to do, coming out with Dark Templar, a missed, missed EMP there from Flash. Oh, more troops coming out. A storm over the Vultures, but Flash runs away. And that storm could have definitely been better used on the tanks, I think. I think another Nexus is going to go up down here. So yeah, Shuttle is not looking too good right now. All of his production is going to be halted from the loss of these minerals. And he's trying to tackle the force. Oh man, Flash a adding insult to injury here, taking out all the probes that are trying to distance mine there. Back to the main. And Flash is defending his own main at the in the meantime, so... Yeah, this is not looking good for Shuttle. Flash is getting up another base over there, and I think he's going to be able to defend it once his backup troops come in to uh, help out. Arbiter trying to group up some more troops there. Shuttle's trying to group up some more troops. I think this is going to be his final hurrah. He's coming out with some more troops. He has a couple of Arbiters here to fight off the tanks. But, yeah, it's all of his production buildings are in jeopardy right now. He has no real way of pushing out of his choke either. This is not looking good. Poor Shuttle. I think Shuttle's going to lose. And yes, <laughs> Rocky loses. Oh, Rocky's five and six never happen because Rocky dies in the fourth movie to the Soviet monster that is Flash. And yeah, Flash is expanding again <laughs> over here. That is going to be scouted by Yoon Jun's pylon. Yep. Yep, it's time to GG, Shuttle, because you are down to two mining bases, I believe, right now, and one of them is a mineral only. If that hasn't mined out already, Shuttle GG's. And Flash is moving into the round of 16. Once again, the Monster Terran is back to cause even more havoc for the poor players that have to face him in the round of 16.
Better not. Better luck next time, Shuttle. You played excellently, I thought. Well, this has been Nuke. I will be back on Friday with the very, very last matchup of the round of 36. Stork power.